What's up guys, Marco here from Crypto Mining Lab, back again with another video and uh, continuing the series of the immersion cooling system as you can see in the background. So in today's video we're going to show how the system works but instead the, uh, the, I'm going to show you guys how to connect the, uh, the immersion tank to the uh, dry cooler and how to connect the whole thing together in order to start uh, your mining operations. So I will start first by showing you guys all the parts that, that can be uh, purchased with the kit to facilitate the, the, the connection between the, the tank as well uh, as uh, making the whole thing uh, easier so you don't have to hire a, a professional plumber to do the thing for you. So the kit right now comes with uh, every single part you need to connect the, the uh, immersion tank to your dry cooler. So first of all, let's go ahead and I'll show you all the parts you need uh, to achieve the connection. Basically, are the factory where these are assembled. So as you can see here, we have unit, units here. These are for 8S19 and this is the factory and let's go ahead and see the, the location where they're assembling the whole thing so these are getting ready this one is a 12 s19 unit this one as well and we have other a few units as well here and we have the tri dry coolers in the back here so just to give you a quick look on how it's done uh, so before we start uh, showing you guys the the whole process of assembling the whole thing uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel if you're interested on what we do on our channel please hit the subscribe button and comment like the video so we can reach more people that help us a lot with the uh, uh, YouTube algorithm so let's go ahead and start with the so first of all here we have this is the a 12 uh, s19 unit as you can see here uh, so the goal is to connect these two port uh, the uh, heat exchanger to the dry cooler here and obviously we need to it has to go through the uh, water pump and as you can see this is a large unit just give you a quick look on the uh, size of the heat exchanger as well as the uh, uh, fluid pump and first thing we have to assemble the, uh, the pump the water pump first and here are all the components you need so basically, you have all the parts you need to, uh, to assemble the whole thing and make it work properly without having to hire anyone. So this can be done you know, by anyone at home without having to have any uh, like special skills. And obviously we have the uh, water hose here. And first of all, let's go ahead and start with showing you how to assemble the, the water pump first and then and we go we're gonna go from, from there so first of all we're gonna start with assembling the the uh, water pump itself and as you can see uh, we have all the parts we need here uh, so just remember that that side will have a, uh, a fitting water fitting line that will supply the water to the system uh, we will show you in a minute how to install that but basically we have to install the uh, assemble the both sides and uh, that will give us the ability to connect uh, one side to the uh, heat exchanger and the other side to the uh, to the dry cooler.
Right, so we have the whole assembly of the, the water pump here. As you can see, uh, this side is already, so you're ready to, uh, we're ready to plug the uh, water hose here, as well as the other side. And as I mentioned earlier, this will be our water fitting for the uh, system. This will be used only temporarily uh, at the beginning, just to get uh, all the air out of, out of the system. After that, after the system, the loop is full of water, no air inside then you can close this one or you can leave it open just in case of the water level gets closed down. Uh, the next one we're gonna go ahead and install this side for the dry cooler and the uh, heat exchanger here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and assemble the whole thing. side as you can see here ready to plug in the, uh, the water hose and as you can see here we have another one uh, another valve here this will be used to purge the system and pressurize the system to get any air out of the system so uh, this one also will be used temporarily uh, as soon as you get all the air out of the system you can just close it and the next one is gonna be the heat exchanger. to connect the water hose right now uh, so we're gonna do is we're gonna place the uh, water pump near the near the uh, dry cooler since we the, the water pump is gonna be outside outdoors together with uh, with the dry cooler and then we're gonna see how how, how much length we're gonna use from the pipe from the uh, dry cooler to the pump as well from the pump to the, uh, to the heat exchanger so we're gonna go ahead and measure that place the pump next to the dry cooler and start connecting the, the water hose. Right, so now we're, we're installing the, uh, the water hose uh, for both sides. As you can see, we just cut a small piece here just so we don't, we don't waste the whole, the whole thing here. So we're just we're gonna, we're gonna use for the purpose of showing you guys how to connect this. We're gonna use just a small, small piece of that water hose. So basically from the top, it's gonna go to the, the inlet of the pump is gonna be here and then from the outlet of the pump is gonna be going to the bottom of the uh, heat exchanger and then from the top the outlet of the heat exchanger the top of the heat exchanger is gonna go down to the uh, to the bottom of the dry cooler this way we're gonna create uh, more pressure and even these we're gonna just use them as the as they are we're just gonna keep them this long because we, we we just don't want to waste them so for the purpose of the showing you guys how to install this we're going to keep the whole thing as as it is right now so as you can see it's a very easy process so just it's just a matter of connecting the water hose uh, for all the sides and then fill up your system with water purge it and you're ready to go
let's recapitulate for uh, for one minute here just to show you guys how the whole thing is installed uh, we just add the water feeding here so the water pipe is coming from the inside and from the uh, dry corner side here we have the uh, the uh, Persian valve here where we can get the air out of system so it's going outside here and basically what you need to do is connect your water pump not now but after we uh, we fill up the, the system with water and then the dry cooler as well and uh, so the first thing we need to do is start filling the system with uh, with water so what we're gonna do is open the water source from there let it uh, fill up a little bit because as you can see the whole pipe we use the whole hose here which is it's gonna take a lot of water so it would take time before we fill up the whole system and get all the air out of the system so as you can see here so the first pipe is coming on the top of the uh, heat exchanger going all the way to the bottom of the dry cooler then from the top of the dry cooler here going to the pump going back to the bottom of the uh, heat exchanger so let's go ahead and start feeding the system with water all right so we just start supplying the water to the, to the system itself so as you can see here the water is entering the system but as I said earlier these we're using the whole hose here which is really long which we don't need on our case but uh, depends on your setup so uh, we will let it you know fill the whole system first uh, once we get uh, water inside the system then what we can we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, plug in our uh, water pi uh, water water pump and uh, start to pressurize the system and get the air out of the system it might take a while so we're just gonna give it about uh, I don't know five minutes before we start operating the uh, water pump okay so the first thing we have to do now is as you can see here we have we are not operating our water pump yet but I'm gonna get some air out of the system so what we can do is as you can hear open and close it you see there's a lot of air coming out of the, the system so this is what we need to do first before uh, we start operating our uh, dry cooler we are not using even the uh, water pump yet I think most of the air get outside not sure if you can see here but you can see the air bubbles coming out of the system here a lot of air still inside due to the size of the the old pipe in here so it's gonna take some time to get all the air out of the system but we're gonna go ahead and do it slowly and in the, in the same time we can start plugging in our water pump here just in and off just to give a little bit the system more pressure in and off and make sure your the whole thing is not leaking you have no water leakage in and off in the meantime we can start pushing the air out of the system we still have a lot of air bubbles coming out of the system so we just keep doing the same thing the same thing until all the air is out of the system and then what we're gonna do now after that, after we get all the air out of the system, we close this valve. Uh, this one you can leave it on or off, up to you. Better to leave it on so you always have uh, water feeding just in case of uh, in case of some leaks within uh, the water loop. But you, you also have the choice to close it, and uh, so you don't you don't have to worry about uh, the water feeding. Okay, so. Alright, I think the, the, the water loop is 
uh, there is no more air within the water loop here. So let, let me just give you a, a quick look. So if I open the valve here, as you can see, there is only water coming out, no air bubbles at all. So it means that our water loop here is, is uh, free of air. Then what we're gonna do now is, as I said earlier, we can close this one. So this one is closed, this one is closed, and this, the whole system is full of, I uh, can feel the pressure here. There's a lot of pressure here. And as you can see, no water leaks. Easy setup. It takes less than an hour, one hour to install the whole thing. And you just need a couple tools to install the whole system. The only thing left here is to turn on your your dry cooler, connecting the power to the dry cooler and starting your immersion tank and start mining. Alright guys, so this is it for this video. I hope you guys learned something from the video. It's a very easy process. It doesn't take it doesn't take long. So as you can see, uh, as you saw in the video, we it took us less than one hour to set the whole thing and put everything together. So basically, it doesn't require any uh, like special tools. So the most of the tools I used here are, you know, most people have them at home. So it's a very easy process. Uh, we try to make it as easy as possible so people, uh, you know. Anyone that wants to purchase one of these kits doesn't have to hire any professional plumber and you know have to uh, generate ex extra costs. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any question regarding the whole setup, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will see you in the next one.